That's half of the street. You are now catching the chillbuzz. Fire. Welcome to Chillbuzz Radio, where we shed light on the deep, dark truth of New York City and the surrounding worlds around it. I'm DJ Luca Knight. I'm here with Easy Cardinale for the second time. And glad to have you here again. Second time's a charm, baby. Let's get it. Uh, yes, man. Um, we've been through so much. The world is changing in so many different ways. And, you know, um, excuse the noise. Uh, I just cracked this Red Bull. But I should probably cut that out because Red Bull isn't paying me enough. And I'm saying their name too much. That's on my factual. Show. I should. But they'll probably sponsor me. It's bound to happen. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, Luke at night and easy. They fuck with that Red Bull, you know, <laughs> like, like we should throw some commercials on them and like, you know, invest. It gives, it gives you wings, they say. Let's fly. It does, and I'm kind of flying right now. Just going through some old school stuff back in the day, reminiscing, looking at videos from the past, seeing how shitty the technology was. Just with technology constantly improving, you know, me and Marty went in about that on episode four a lot, like just how over the span of decades, things change so drastically and they're going to keep changing. Absolutely. Um, a lot of people are afraid that they're going to lose their jobs or automation. Oh, they, they're people are already losing their job right now. I, do you see McDonald's? McDonald's has kiosks. There's yeah. no need oh, yeah, any, yeah, exactly. for any, any, any of those self checkouts at the supermarket of course why why should business owners especially now with viruses out in the world they want less people out being active absolutely it's quicker too i think the automated the cab drivers sometimes i take long cab rides and like you just conversate with them you know and they're like scared to death because they have these um these like pod things coming out that like self-drive people like it's like just a self-driving pod that like transports people wherever they need to go and all these like cab drivers and uber drivers are like first the cab drivers are threatened by uber and now uber is going nuts over the pods you know (laughs) right factory workers over robots replacing them you know and it's even happening. mcdonald's it's, it's, like you said it's yeah. crazy no it's happening it's definitely happening. especially these huge corporations they're gonna think smart it's 2020 from here on everything is gonna be like i want to say it and i want it to happen like you know clap on clap remember that yeah that, that's yeah. kind of like the whole mentality now 2020 and moving forward people people don't want things to take long people want things like right now asap remember back in the give day it to me. how internet was back in the day how it was like so slow and you have to like dial up and all that shit. Watching a video was like heaven. What? And now you, you now it's like fiber optics. Fiber optics is a big thing. The radiation now it's, all now it's, listen, get ready for all of that, man. It's the world it's, it's coming it's coming down. Ready or not. Here it comes. Get ready. You got you gotta get ready for everything and anything. It is. I mean That's like That's why I love New York City. The world changes so much and you can't ignore the fact that it's gonna continue to change more rapidly. You know, like we got crazy viruses out here killing people. Is that stopping technology from improving? No. Like I don't know what to think about that whole vaccine thing. <laughs> listen, know? I'll That's tell like you right now one. I'm not taking nothing. The government. Listen, dear government, I will not take any type of of vaccine i'm sorry i i just can't one thing that i definitely believe is it's like a way of control in the way you know what i mean it's like even with the whole flu vaccine it's actually putting the flu in your body so your body body can get used to fight i don't believe in in, in the vaccine there's there's some good vaccines also in Bra- brazil and they don't even have it here like my wife wants to actually get it imported brazil has this vaccine that oh not just brazil but every every latin country i believe it's a vaccine that you know you get it when you're young and it, it leaves a mark on you so it's crazy yeah you i could, see the mark that's the what i'm mark. exactly oh, there you I go you want to call it that good few immigrant you wanna, chicks okay you want to get political you want to call it them, okay you know? i see how it is you want to get political here I mean, I, I, I have nothing against no, immigrants. No, I understand, you but you know, it don't, is. Don't it get is. the feather I'm on just my head joking, twisted man. like I am Native American. Is but it? I want to be here if my Native American ancestors didn't, um, you know, You're, fall in That's love why you have that lead. With Luke my, Knight, baby. With my European immigrant 
ancestors. That's you know, fact. like That's it is fact. what it is. I'm built off of the love of everything. Exactly. You being a Brazilian natural. doesn't mean natural. that you're not, because Brazil is a very diverse country, Listen, just how America is. I believe in naturality. Brazil is America. If you really think about it's it, just, this is just the United States. South and, and but North, North America. and America, Makes North America and sense. South America actually is one the full America. You know what I'm but saying? you see, there's things that that is done here. Like that's there's not actually done there. a country named after Christopher Columbus, Colombia. <laughs> there's things that are done here that are not done there, and there's things that are done there that are not. You know, so it's they they need they need to help each other in a way. You know, like give open the doors that they have open here. And they you know, should, and you know crazy, what? Like I, Trump talks a lot of bullshit. But he likes Bolsonaro. He, he does Bolsonaro. talk. He loves. Bolsonaro. He has a great connection with Brazil. Yo, Bolsonaro is his man. That's his right hand man. That's they, what I'm saying. They, so, you know? um, <laughs> I don't want to no get vaccine. too into no politics vaccine. just because no I don't know what to think about it. One thing I do want to say is I heard this from a source that I'm too high to remember, but basically, uh, they said that Joe Joe uh, um, Biden plans on retiring after. Uh, six on, months. <laughs> like he's come going on, on medical man, leave or let, some let, shit. Let, let him win first before you start coming out with these jokes. <laughs> like, I don't know who said that. Don't retire. I heard early. that's like that's, an actual thing. Like it's like he, an actual plan. Like I mean, I don't know how legit it is. Like that, it could have been you that told me, and I I, I, I can't remember. That's one honestly. thing. That's one thing that you got to be you know ready for whenever you get on the spotlight. People are gonna joke around you're you're, you're you become the next meme but you Get know ready. what it's bad it's for funny. Him. that's a funny one the six months it's, it's bad like i mean uh, like honestly i wish i could just take the good qualities of trump and the good qualities of biden and just mash it up into one person what about kanye West, and it would though? actually be a great president Would you rather kanye you take all only the positive of both candidates and just like fucking smash him up in a machine forget them what about just kanye you know i mean a couple already, of his verses endorsed kanye man and then you know a couple on, of his verses would have made seven, me definitely um i can't vote by the way so episode I, seven it basically like we weren't thrilled about the fact that we couldn't come back and um you know talk about kanye's run and talk about being excited for voting for him and because like he, he got eliminated for uh fake fake votes Oh wow, that's I mean that's celebrity shit, bro. I mean, like honestly, I feel like you know how Kanye supports Trump. I feel like, um, like Trump loves Kanye and and Kim Kardashian. I feel like he ran just to kind of be a distraction, get the hip hop community to be on Trump's side more. Okay, okay. Because now that he's out, he's obviously gonna endorse Trump. Okay, you makes know what sense. I'm saying? That makes a lot of sense. And like. I, it, it was. It's at the point where it's like I was gonna Listen, vote for Kanye. I'm not voting now, like unless like something in the, the debates drastically changes. Listen, believe it or not, whether you love him, hate him, Trump is gonna win again. Like he's just flashy with it. Like that's like why do you think people like Kanye's out here like like trying to be president now? Like because it just creates like a door for like anyone to like walk into, you know. It's crazy, but um, I don't know. I just hope things work out. We got Halloween coming up. We got like an election. We got there's a lot, man, a lot we got going the on. Cold weather. We don't ready know for when to bundle get up. A second wave. I'm praying there's no second. Listen, wave. Listen, there's a little spike, little, 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 small, little. It's basically like like a one percent kind of thing, but it's it's still out there. People gotta understand. People just keep your immune system very healthy. Yeah, that's that's there. really the key. Do what you gotta do to you wanna keep stay safe. very healthy and just you know, like, like try to take vitamins and, and not Absolutely. like eat good food. Stay in, cook if you can, you know? Like I save a lot of money and I'm not even that much of a good cook. But just me staying in more, eating inside, cooking my own food. I make it better than things I pay literally quadruple the money for, fact. like right here on this strip. Of, yeah, don't, like, don't stop wasting your money on the strip. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Fuck that. But I learned a lot of new skills. You know, I'm more than just a bomb DJ. You Let's know? go. Like, I, there is other things I'm good at. But um, yeah, man. Like uh, as you see, we're actually we have this this podcast set up on a um a casino table. <laughs> I mean, it's Let's it's see. actually a roulette board. And I play roulette. I got a lot of money from Empire Casino. And Let's go. 
And I lost a couple of dollars, but I left still in the green. Like, I kind of bent them over and gave them the works. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. I, I like poker. I don't really know how to gamble. I, I play a lot of poker, stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's, I like doing it for fun more. You know, like, if okay, you had to play sense. poker, I'd say, you know what, let's play, like, let's throw 2020. Friendly game. You know what I'm saying? Like, Just to see where it goes. People really are like, Go, who are going yeah, after to like cut people's throat and make money you just like ah uh, like it could be ruthless it can be no i bet you know, i bet casinos I are closed God i got, mar I got married in vegas man I didn't... are the casinos open you got married in yeah, vegas yeah i didn't do any that. i didn't i didn't thanks for inviting uh, your boy yo <laughs> listen listen i'll tell you right now that marriage was like one two three and like i can't even believe it happened I feel it was, it. It was, well i would love for wow. you to come to my wedding you know, Listen, because, man, we're gonna make it happen, man. Because I want, I will you. have a DJ at my wedding. Cause we're gonna find it's it my you. wedding. Listen. I can't DJ my wedding. My wife will probably strangle me instead of marrying Listen, me. Listen, check this out. I want, I want, I want all the ladies Good. listening. I do want right a little now. half hour set. Our at, friend at the Luke Knight here, <laughs> single, ready to mingle. He's he's available. You know, it's hard. Like decent, I, I wear a mask, bro. They don't females. even know what I look like. But my, the the music that's, that's fact for everybody. Music, <laughs> that's a fact. Now we we've been living in in the days where you, all you see is the eyes. You don't see the face anymore. You I don't mean, see the facial expression because it's the, the mask has blocked that away. The that music, is, the music that. talks wow. though. The music that's, like that's like the music does its works for me. Remember how like last episode I said like you know I let the moves talk in the club. I wasn't as good as talking. It's like. If I like am with a girl and I put on one of my mixes and I'm like cuddling with them, or even if I just like do like a little like set and it's like literally I'll be like 10 minutes into it and they're just like like trying to undress me like in the middle of it, you know? It happens and like so that, that's what honestly, you've been doing. You're using the music on, for love. That's a very turn okay. on for me. One time so you've been using the music yo, I've for love. Had, I've had a bitch. <laughs> I, you know what? And I will call her a bitch because she punched me in the face. Oh, man. But she what, punched me in the face. What a violent like she was just on some fuck. Like, I don't know what was wrong with her. But she got pissed off over something super emotional. It happened. Took something the complete wrong way. And and she just like punched me in the face. And then when we're talking after, like I'm guarding myself and we're talking after. She actually tried to like stab my bike tire. Like like all that. And like punched me in the face and shit. But then said like, you know what? You could go fuck yourself, dead ass. <laughs> like, like I'm not like fucking with you never no more. Like I'm blocked. You never hit me up again. Wow. But like I'm not even gonna lie to you. You're an amazing DJ. <laughs> and, you wow. That I walked whoa, away. That I walked away from that situation. Like, like right. you know what? I can take that. Like you That's know what? Cool. Like I. <sighs> That's like, awesome. I, I had her in the bed. Like, you know, every female is complicated. I don't really try to piss them off when I'm like, you know, trying to, you know, do the woohoo with them, you know. Okay, so, so you're it basically just happens sometimes by mistake. You Luke know? is basically just using the music to get some love. I understand. I mean it's just who I am. I yeah, am music. Cool, man. I am it's music. Cool. Do, you know, do like, you, man. We 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 came a far way back, like ever since we were just kids, like partying, clubbing, fighting in the club, all that like high school like forced to build gangs like just because everyone was in gangs like the way we grew yeah, up that's, you know that's, so it's like you have to either culture. join one or build one exactly and you know like oh, like man. it 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 was just everywhere and then that's like, good though because it gives you gets you in the mentality it, of building it, it builds a brotherhood <laughs> it and, definitely and, did absolutely um, shout out to the connections. shout out to mount vernon absolutely shout out to mount vernon there's See, many sets who we've been involved with and affiliated with and oh, a part man. of in mount vernon and That's really it. it's at the point where really there's full unity in mount vernon that's like, absolutely as far as great me and easy go there's not really anyone who we don't get along with like, that's, that's factual. my hometown i love my and town it, it is right here next town. to the city i wouldn't mind moving back like to be honest like because yeah. it's right here I, I, it's walking distance to, to the two train i walk right to 241st you know and just yeah, hop man. on the two it is and listen it is. shout out shout out to mount vernon just to just to be you know let everybody know like mount vernon is a city that can definitely change someone if you if you grew up in mount vernon is either you you create your path you follow what's what's going on or you follow somebody else that that thinks they know what they're talking about it's like you know a lot a lot of us went with the path where you could create where you have your own vision and you you literally look at it and you're like okay i know what i i want to do 
I just have to do it. Remember the Nutcrackers? Dude, we. I used been, to want to be a bartender. Oh, I used to, back like back we when I was hustling. Whatever. I was like, you know what? I want to be a bartender. I want to sell the party, clean money. So I'm like, all right, let me experiment with Nutcrackers. But back when I was still young too, and I knew all the underage kids, I used to See, sell you gotta Nutcrackers. Do whatever. You gotta do everything. Which one did you like? The green one or so, the white man, one? Or you guys shit? made me an alcoholic, <laughs> I had a man. Rainbow of them shits. Like I remember, yeah. one kid ended up in the John ended up in the hospital Listen, and blamed be- me before for the be- before the Nutcrackers. We went to Hot Baby. Remember Hot There was a rumor going around saying that. I used to lace my nutcrackers with eating. <laughs> <laughs> Just because people used to get so fucked up. That, but yo, it's that's like, crazy. when it really comes down to it, like, e-pills would go for $20. Like, I was not, I'm not going to waste $20 on something I'm, like, sp- selling for $5. It's just not it's worth insane, it, you know? Man. You're lucky if that happens. Like, it's that, that nutcracker is going to cost $20. Like, <laughs> Listen, we made Hot Baby rich, man. We used to get liquor from him under, ew, oh, man, can, can I say? Oh, we used remember? to get it under age. I mean, they already he lost, lost their license. license he lo- but, we, we Never the reason. Miami, Miami Club in the Rochelle um, fighting there was the reason they closed down. Um, Habibi and Mount Vernon. Why did Sue's the, close down? Sue's closed so down because and yeah, Sue's is just you know one of those spots that attract a lot of people and attract a lot of people with money. And when there's money, there's violence. And when there's violence, you know, there's envy, there's women. Come on, man. You know, you know the the, the atmosphere. It's crazy because Sue Contento, the, the founder beautiful- of that place, oh, that's my aunt. Sue Contento. So you got to call Sue and Contento no, she, up. She died you, not too long after the place closed down. Oh, out. man. Listen, you know, I, it's if like, I had if I had the capital and I was at a point where I had enough money, I would buy Sue's and, and turn that into like a like a Amazon, like an Amazon slash Amazon slash like club, like Amazon the, the rainforest. So it's like you feel like you're in the when you're entering, you're, you're entering the jungle. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. great spot. Kind of how they did that shit on Lincoln Ave, um, Caldas or some shit like yeah, that. Like I feel like I feel like a strip club in Mount Vernon is just gonna create violence. I mean, remember uh, Samba Nabraza? I remember that. Lit. I remember and that. And then when Maggie's first came out, that was also like type lit too. I remember that. I remember that. There, there was a, there was a lot of parties going on in Mount Vernon, man. We were part we were part of the beginning stages. Yeah, man. Then expanded out to the city. Um, I met uh, my boy Black Irish at a party, and hey, the, I can I refer to the guy as my key to the city because he kind of simply is. He put me on to a lot of things in the city. Shout out to Black Irish. Even like all the leads I get today, 2020, here in the pandemic parties to spin that's awesome parties to go to like all the promoters that send me all the underground things like that put me in that community of new york city it started in mount vernon and we did take that over entertainment business you know but like being a part of the only things that are going down in new york city it's like pretty cool and that's awesome kind of like black irish is kind of my like gateway into that you know so thank thank god for um, him he, he so I was good. You get seen by the right people, just like us with this show, you know? I feel like our product, what we do, we could be on a official New York um, radio station, you know? Like, what, what what are we missing? Not much. Come on now. We can't be that like, bad. We're great. We're awesome. You love just, listening to Just us. with this recording right here, you know? It's like... Shit this is the, much this, but this is But this is the mentality that people got to have, regardless, right? Whoever's out there trying to do whatever they want to do. If you do good people are going to talk. If you do bad, people are still going to talk. So at the end of the day, just do you. You know, it's just it's not going to make it's not going to make a difference. Cuz people if you do good, people hate. Yeah, if you do bad, people shame so you. So just do it. Like you just have to do it. whatever it is that you want, you just have to do it no matter what yeah. nobody says. And don't hate. It's all about peace and love, you know? It's like Yeah, support maybe, each other, man. No one wants support. that bullshit. Fucking basically it's like I don't know, like right now I heard that that um, the UK just passed something to to start universal based income to the point where all their residents are going to get a certain amount of money every week or month or whatever it is to live on, like not including what they do for work. They just get that money. Something that Andrew Yang wanted to do. Wow, you know, and UK's, like I kind of wow, looked that's... at that idea. I'm not someone who has the most money in the world, but I looked at that idea that he wanted to give people a thousand dollars a month. Like, 
you know what, that might fuck up the country. Just because it's for free. But I looked at him like, you know what? <laughs> Gotta work for that your might, money, man. That might actually fuck up the country. And now, after all this pandemic shit, after he's been out of the race, because now if he was running, he would be his fucking savior. You know, like every universal base income, a thousand dollars for every American but, yeah, every but the, month. But the thing is, the mo the money has that's to, paying to keep your rolling. rent and your food every month. Yeah, that's great to, to be. And able then to whatever have that. you do for work, you buy clothes, video games, fucking. It's great TVs, to have that, but it's not good because go you have to, to have dinner. the money. The money has to keep rolling. Like that's what I'm saying. But the whole point behind that is automation, and we're oh, dealing okay. with the pandemic, okay. which would help and. The UK is doing it. I'm not. It's probably a combination of the inevitable automation and the pandemic, which okay, it that. puts a lot of people out of work. You know, like a lot of people can't work because of it. A lot of people who are health risks or older shouldn't work because they're like high risk. You know, and um, just robots are gonna like we were, like how we were talking earlier. Robots are gonna keep taking over. You know, like it's. Soon in the future, a few hundred years in the future, technology is going to do everything, every job there is to do to the point where even like jobs that require just brain work, physical work, there's going to be a robot for everything. That's insane to think they're, about that. They're, like, they're going to take over. They're probably going to have rights like humans because AI might um, evolve to a level where they might perfect creating AI to mimic us like 100% and have like the <laughs> whole emotion insane. side to it. Yeah, it's insane and, to um, think about. Like some people could be um, have be better willed. Some people could be worse willed. And you know, you might see robots catching charges and like going to jail. That's crazy. The, that's insane to know, think about. Like a lot of things can happen. It's pretty much the movies that we, we watch. If they if they test around with that world and like you know, like keep advancing things like. Like building soldiers, military soldiers, that's pretty scary, you know. Like that's that's something, you know. And but uh, like, what good things can happen? Like I, I don't know. It's like like one thing that they're trying to like advance that I think is unnecessary because right now with 4G internet, I feel like it's good enough. Like back in the day, we couldn't watch movies on our yeah, phone with no course, problem but that's gonna now evolve. with no wi-fi we could watch watch a full movie on our phone with no problem yeah, stream that shit insane. easily you know so the whole stress of 5g i heard they put up a lot of tower most of the towers already and it's like on and pop and i mean and it's radiation it really was radiation i hear is that bullshit or is it like really fucking people up? I don't know what Listen, to think. I really there's, don't. There's, cer there's certain things that, that I don't come need out. good internet. Trust me. There's like, certain I things mean, that come out that it's like you, if you if you get stuck into the into the fact that oh it's gonna hurt, it's like you, you're gonna you go crazy. There's so many things that everything that's too much of en of ever of anything is bad for you. You have to moderate everything. So again, you're like you saying 4G is good enough. Like why why go over the top? But you don't need to it. But people want, but, but like you no said, sense. everything is changing. Robots are taking over. They don't need people to come outside no more. But what are the humans gonna be doing inside if the robots are gonna be but taking let's over? Let's say outside? like even as That's... early as fifty years into the future. I'm gonna be like oh, eighty one years old. But let's live think that about it. You're gonna have self driving cars, you're gonna have self driving checkouts and like like systems that don't allow people to steal. It's like like you walk into a store, there's no person there. You just go and like you're literally like locked in and like like uh, sirens will go off if you try to like rob the place. But there's no person there because if someone has a shotgun, no one's gonna get hurt. You get what I'm saying? Like a store will be like that. There will be a car you get into that is designed to never crash no matter what. And that that um, job is gonna be gone of like like drivers, bankers. Like what do you really need them for? Like all these people, like 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 yeah. people who negotiate deals and things like that, like like certain like artists, like things like that, like like that's one thing. Like art can't be taken over by robots. Well, oh, they can't <laughs> teach a robot how to paint. I'll never lose a job from automation through art. <laughs> So they can't, not they can't, they can't because teach a robot to paint. A robot can't do a better set than I can. I mean, oh, they, you're they saying could probably, music? They could probably. So you saying well, like just art, art altogether? In general, art, music, like yeah. I mean, yeah. There's no, they don't have no you soul. Know, when it's, it comes down to creativity, it's like 
some things you can't do the way a human can. Like, no, you can't. Like, can no, art be simulated perfectly the way a human can um, can express it? Can absolutely sex not. and love be simulated? No. Like, you know. I mean, you, you got to ask the guys that actually, you know, have sex with, like, dolls and so stuff. So there like, will still be things <laughs> because people are just ambitious and people just always want to evolve and keep progressing. So I feel like even when it comes down to the point where there's full automation and no one needs to work because we have a system, a worldwide system where it's just the planet, it, one government planet in a good way. That We might go through multiple wars to get to that point. Probably will. But do you when think we're, that's actually gonna happen? Like one, when we're be one it, order, one. What, that is that's it, insane it to has think about. To, it has to because you gotta go through a lot that, of wars, That's like world peace. We need to get to a point where everyone agrees with the better thing. There might be an intervention with aliens where they enlighten us and say, like, look, you guys got it wrong. Get on this path, and all will be well. And they might, like, who knows? They might decide we're ready for certain things. Yeah, I think that know? I'm gonna meet an alien through Elon Musk or maybe what's his name. Jeff Bezos, but you know, there, guys, I do believe that there's more on. good people in the world than evil, and the world is progressing in great ways. You know, like just look. I mean, like right now with all this Black Lives Matter stuff, like yeah, like they're like tying the final knots on like like equality, like really, you know, because like like everything came a long way, and like people say Black Lives Matter, but it's more than just that term. It's more of a police brutality. Thing. Yeah, there's more to it, and yeah. people getting like racially profiled, like like no, no matter what it is, you know, like you could That's you it. could be a straight white person, but just kind of have a hip hop swag and appearance to you. And you're you're just targeted as like oh like a, an offender. It's just you know the, it's saying? just the wrong generation to but fuck with and not think there's gonna be. There is a lot of progress, you know. Yeah, like let's, Abraham let's Lincoln it. did a lot. Martin My Luther man. King did My a lot. Man. You know, like right now, little baby, his song, um, the bigger picture. Like you know, he expressed himself a lot, and I love that song. I'm definitely gonna remix that shit up, fire. Let's go! Shout out but, to little baby when you remix that. You know, it's a shout out. You know? That's what I'm saying. Like, um, <laughs> things are gonna keep going in a in a good way. We're probably gonna go through wars, but years in the future, people aren't gonna have to work. Pro probably lifetime that we see, like, people aren't gonna have to work because they're gonna start. They they're starting in the UK, and as long as we have the technology to like stay true to that and and make people live comfortably and not have to work, like it will push people to be more ambitious because people are going to be at the point where like like it's going to be at the point where like yeah i'm just chilling in my house staying here all day i'm good i'm comfortable i have everything i need but let me do something ambitious and productive and progressive with myself and i have money to survive but now whatever i get extra is something to do more with yeah it's a great and, point that you brought and up. build the world to better places not because you have to not because you're struggling to pay bills and you you're miserable and want to do this this task you want to go to this fucking car wash or fucking restaurant and do your fucking job not because you want to do that because you want to do something good for the world and productive for the world and build more income that you could live an even happier life and thrive more like survival will be like basically a, a right like a, a human necessity will be survival it will be at that point oh yeah that's and why all these bad things happening is actually a blessing in disguise because that actually makes the world us as humans stronger mentally now and you know we're taking that time that we're staying home more and we're actually looking at the world from a different perspective so a it, lot of people are a lot of people are happier people because yeah, they get man. the time to reflect things on are, yeah thing, exactly things change now yeah. now it's like we want change now like give it to us or we're gonna take it that's the type of attitude that this whole quarantine thing created in the world people are just like we want this done now give it to and us why why are they why why is it happening though because people want to be happy yeah absolutely that's what everyone happiness wants. Is everyone happiness, really wants yeah. world peace no that's one it. just knows how to agree on it the right way and i do think that's inevitable it will happen who's gonna and use when we music get to that point we'll use music people too. are gonna be able to live for free people aren't gonna hate each other once like 
you don't need police because everyone's happy. You know, you know what's crazy? And you don't need like you don't need anything. Everyone's just like surviving good. People are gonna be able to put more time into space programs and things like, that actually like matter. going out into space and finding other planets and building alliances and and um, maybe like reviving species from the dead and expanding lifetimes and and building more interesting technology that that we can't even phantom at this yeah, point in crazy. time you know the only place that you actually see the whole world together is actually like a music festival that's insane to think about that's why i think ultra music festival for me was like the best experience i ever oh, you've had been there? I've, Dude, I've never been there yet you never it's 20 dream. i went there one time and one time is all i need i know people and shout out to everybody that you know in that community in that culture because that culture is that like, you got to understand it you know like right now those people are going crazy because there's nothing going on Tomorrow, but, man, uh, Tomorrowland's the big one. You went there. You went there. I want to go there. You know, that's you, like my oh, dream. I never been there. Tomorrowland. I know. That's, that's like you. You camp out and everything. On, the, uh, it, on as far as like the east side of the world goes, Tomorrowland got it. West side, Ultra Miami. Yeah, listen, and, and, and that's and, and that's where what? you see people EDC together. Vegas man. too. That's like a go. I think that's that's where the next one. It's coming. It's, they're still having it. I when think. When are the it's, music festivals gonna start up again? Listen, man, man. it's happening. Things are things actually opening up quicker than you think. Like. But that's the only place that you actually, you know, getting back to the point, like that's the, the place where you see the, the whole world in one place and harmony and everything. Why? Because music is what brings people together. You know, hashtag save the fucking dance floor, man. Because that's the only thing yeah, that's yo, been saying. Anything that's so true. anyone puts out, shares, that is related to music and dancing and really someone who feels like they want to keep that world alive and like you can't live without it and you refuse to let it go at any cost anything you put out please hashtag save the dance floor like we're trying to spread that movement because we truly believe in it you know and it makes a lot of sense like everyone like we've had time to reflect on ourselves and be home and whatever but people can't stay home forever it's just not gonna happen and that's why it's like it's it's a whole dilemma we, like do we take the vaccine it might be the only way to get things going normal again so now rather do we fight healthy. it the world's going to be in chaos we'll probably have civil wars whatever president wins it's going to be a fucking war get you ready know, get like, ready for any anything is possible anything is it's possible you got to be ready time. for everything it's it's a it's crazy it. part of you history have, we're living right now <laughs> you have to have 2020 vision see see everything clear what you want is what you need to get and what's going on right now ready you're ready it's either you're ready for it or you're not ready for it but if you're not ready for it you're not if you're not getting ready it's going to come down regardless like we don't have a shield like a special shield that everybody wishes we had where we could block certain things we can't block this this is this is coming yeah, this is even, coming down even captain down. america got his shields fucking smashed <laughs> by thanos like you see not even his lasted forever you listen, know listen man get ready get ready to take you know take control of your life and get ready to just like do great you know with, with all this bad these bad things going on it's actually something that's gonna help us get bigger and, and better things that we want like people sometimes don't look at the bigger perspective like look at the bigger picture everything that's happening is for a reason is for to make us stronger and to make us to help us take over and you know fulfill our dreams while you're here you know because once you're gone it's it's basically what you leave behind yeah you, you can't give up just keep going you know like i switched up my flow like right now i'm at the point where i'm pumping out more podcasts i bought Sit, more equipment yeah. you know because there's a lot of money to make on youtube and here in New York City, I'd be like right in Westchester, you could go in a bar, inside the bar, but there isn't really like parties like happening like that. But um, there's still things going on on the ground. Here things. in New York People City, you can street even parties. eat food inside. Uh, yeah, well, that's yeah, that's it's, another thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, are they? I heard they extended it um, through the whole. Like, they extended it through the whole winter, outdoor eating. But who's gonna be fucking eating outdoors? And even if you have a closed tent with a heating thing in there is that really any difference from just having people inside Listen, the only thing the only thing we got to do is we're going to have to set up a, a rave a party everybody going in, in, in a bubble like everybody has their i might have bubble. some shit going on in philly this weekend imagine actually. everybody have their personal bubble oh my god right it's around. insane my roommate actually it's showed crazy, me something man. the other day um <laughs> it was like like a, a picture of like a helmet certain like rich people are getting and 
it looks like some fucking Buzz Lightyear type shit. It's literally <laughs> like a fucking helmet. That, it, like, yo, you're gonna like, see shit like shield. that coming out. And I think it like it filters the air. It doesn't just like like protect like whatever. Yeah. It filters the air. One thing that we so if you're out here in dirty ass <laughs> polluted air, New wow. York, like like you That's can like walk things. around and be completely protected from the virus. And on top of it clean air like you're in the fucking like mountains you know like 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 breathe clean air like you're in the mountains like this whole thing is actually going to make halloween much better just think about all the all the costumes that's going to come out people are going to come out with crazy crazy insane costumes that are going to like blow people's mind are you doing anything for halloween listen i told you about halloween man i want to do something because i i want i want um obviously i want my um daughter and my wife to definitely like enjoy that not it's not like a national united states yeah, like yeah. it's something so but i always grew up upon like halloween's not good you know things are gonna happen parents man they always put that but i i'm i'm above that i can't let religion control me man i'm sorry about that and you know, i believe in a higher being i believe in god and i believe that good karma you do good good things are gonna happen back to you but i i, I also believe that like doctrines and um just like rules and regulations that come out of churches are just designed to control you. Just like the vaccine. Like, I don't want to be controlled, man. I'm sorry. I want to just follow my heart, you know? Like, you follow yeah. your heart. You Because when you're going to do something bad, your heart tells you. When you're going to do something good, your heart always always tells you. So you're always going to have that in- instinct that's going to tell you whether you should or you shouldn't do it. So it's like, that's all you really need. I don't want I don't want to be controlled. I feel like the internet helps in a big way because it does spread false information, but it does, it does spread the true shit. No, it and does. And the true shit can be confirmed. It and does. That's, you know, like, I, I guess the more communication there is because there could be people on the other side of the planet that hated us 20 years ago because they didn't, ha- they were just told what they were told. Yeah, of course. But There's a difference. That's why certain countries, like... Dude. Like, when I market certain videos, you know, places I can't put it, places like Cuba, North Korea, they won't, like, let me market my videos out there because they have so much propaganda to make the world think that they're, it's a certain way. Just you know, it's like they, they twist their perspectives. They don't want us to, like, see their yeah. content. They could really, like, alter anything. And, and, and that you know, that's, I think that's, uh, like, you know... I love it's parents. control. That's shout what out, it is. shout out to parents that take care of their kids. But like a lot of parents are old school parents. They their mindset is so, it's just so small. Like they just they they over they they overthink it and they complicate it for us because they they don't have. You like, gotta teach them though. Like, yeah, we know, have to teach them. Like we we definitely them. have to teach them. We can't we can't let the old generation you know fall behind. And you know that's that's what I've been doing lately. I've been just telling my mom like you know there's certain things that we believed in before or that you grew up believing in that is just not it's not the same. It's like, not, man. Things are gonna constantly keep changing. They have and they always will. Um, let me go grab a cold drink. Um, take a leak real quick. Oh and, man, you didn't um, have to share that information. And man. we will be right back. Uh, Chill Buzz Radio. Peace, bitches. Coming right back. We are live. Chill Buzz Radio, where we only talk about the best. Yeah, man. Um, I like took a few shots of this this red label I had. Like, I still have some, but I said had because those few shots got me a little uh, stumbling. Ready to let it all but out. I feel huh? good, you know. Let it's the truth um, out. it's nothing I can't handle. I got That's the it. Red Bull to chase it, cool. chilling over here. Um, just let the truth out now, you know. Let's talk about this beautiful country that we live in. Beautiful country, like it's a beautiful country, but it's still like a bad time to live in it. Listen, it's true. With all the negativity, with everything that's going on, the racism, the riots, the virus, everything, absolutely everything that's going on in the world and in the United States, I still believe profoundly that this is the best country in the world where you could still overcome all those obstacles 
and be where you want to be regardless of what's going you're on. probably right but there's a lot of good other good options like, there is no don't get me wrong of course in of europe course. and listen Canada, man i'm an italian and citizen myself australia like new zealand listen. i've said this before i don't want to no, be absolutely. too repetitive no. but it's something i can't ignore no you're right it's, and that was a bar right there if you roll that back. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though but, there, <laughs> there is there is better places than the united states like, don't get new me wrong. zealand I heard there's no coronavirus. Not one. Exactly. Person. That's why I'm so glad you brought somewhere that up. Somewhere like so that, true. all you got to do is lock the country down. And, and shout, you're shout good. out to the president. She's a she's a female. You know that, right? Well, you, you know, know Biden wins. Do it better. Kamala is going to be president. And honestly, I hope that whoever gets elected gets impeached asap <laughs> because I feel like e either vice president nominee is kind of a better choice than their the president himself you know yeah like well, this is what this that's the point right there like it doesn't matter who who wins the election who's running for whatever the United States is still the best country in the world and it's how the pandemic goes too because like Trump is kind of for opening back up more and Biden's kind of like pussy with it yeah man and listen man I, I'm not I'm not a supporter I can't but support he is, coming I, from an immigrant but shout out to Trump though he Trump is smarter than you think man <laughs> I mean he, he's a piece of shit though that's why it people is, don't like it, him it's okay it, you know we, we need like you can't have too much good you need a little bad but the, kind of balance out this the way, if he was a nice guy if he's he was the guy he was 10 years ago people would love him but this is the thing he still love him. this is what i think happened he was actually considering running democrat but this is the thing and that imagine i imagine him as a democrat but this people is the would thing. love that motherfucker it, it's not about like him being a republican or democrat that's that's trump like he's been always been the person he does whatever Wait, the when fuck you're he the wants fucking says president, he wants. like you have I, to you don't want to be hated, at least when it's your first term. That's why it's like if he gets reelected, it's like God knows. I think he's gonna win. Hand I, this motherfucker. I know a go. lot of people don't want him to win. I want the best for the country, and I don't know what's best for the country when it comes to politics because I don't really. I'm not voting like because it's it's candidate. just it's it's just it's something that I'd rather not even be a part. Listen, of. Listen, man, like, I'm, I'm telling wearing a feather. I'm telling everybody right now, this is the right best country in the world. And, this, you know, jump in through the. Right through the wall. He ain't building no wall. We go. We still got like I embrace the Native in. American let side of me, but I wouldn't be here if that Native American didn't breed with that you immigrant. Could go, you could go to so, this. You, know, you could go to the this Amazon. Country is built off like Trump. His father came from Luca, Europe. But listen, you could go to the Amazon anytime, my man. You, there's nothing restricting you. Yeah, and man, I'll, we I'll, can't. Pe speaking from I'll experience, I'll get stripped for all my. I can't. Um, I can't. My I, phone, my keys, every. They'll take my keys just to take them. Like, like those are my <laughs> house keys, bro. Like, you please. can still go there without having like that restriction that people have. You're like, you don't need any documentation Yo, they, to go there. Like, people need documentation. They're so broke. To get they'll there. take my socks. They so won't. They won't even leave my. They'll take my shoes. Like, I. I kind of get that your tribe is in the sock, amazon bro. i feel it with that feather my tribe Luke. is is upstate new york actually it might be my mohawk some, iroquois indians might have some but we're we're all um are you part indigenous brazilian i mean there's probably a little mix in there you got I don't any know. inca in you <laughs> I, like it's funny how you mentioned that because my on my dad's side like they're dark and like my grandmother has like an indian complexion she looks it's you know yeah, brazil's yeah. full of but of the thing indian is indian brazil's people. more closer to the equator like people get to it like that a lot more people were like light skin like like mixed with like white people like like me like w like when we say like we're like part Native American sometimes they don't believe it because they think of like red skins but the ones from New York like upstate New York they're fairly light that's, you know that's true. like my grandmother she was Native American and she it looks like light skin you could tell if you like like look at the, the Mohawk Iroquois but um, you know she's light because they're north. They're north. It snows up here. You know, so like they, they don't get different. as much sun, just like Europe and like Russia. Yeah, where you and, like, live, even your like weather, South Chile and like Argentina, they're in South America, but they're kind of far below the equator. Yeah, so those true. people just like naturally like stay lighter. You know. So um, yeah, man. Let's listen. I came here when I was seven years old, and Brazil's Brazil's one one of the be most beautiful countries in the world hands down hate it or love it we're the best uh, I would also, love to we're also the best in soccer hate it or love it I just want to leave that out there anyway so well, America is the best place to live though regardless I think that regardless of the restriction racism riots everything that's going on everything that's negative because there's 
There's always going to be negativity. You just have to be positive and think positive. You like, think the next World Cup is going to happen? Listen, the next World Cup is going to happen. Neymar is probably going to be the. Are you know, people going to be in the? Gonna audience. going to get the MVP. People going to watch it. We're only no, two we're, years we're, away. No, it's going to happen, but we're going to watch it electronically. Like we're not going to be. Oh, there. they're going to put our faces yeah, yeah. on. Zoom. It's okay. <laughs> you you know that it, the players actually play very well without a crowd. They're like what what. They have they have pressure, the crowd, yeah, but it's that, that pressure. yeah they have the crowd, but it's not the crowd. It's just the sound of the crowd. That's what they've been playing, and that's actually been I don't know about uh, you know most of the fans if they feel the same I way. I feel but like something fighting pace is different, you know, because you have the crowd to like you don't want to disappoint them. You like you're fighting oh, doing man, a UFC it's like, fight. It's, it's like it's like music. It's like clubs, like, I like feel events. Like if it's you're like, doing a UFC mm -hmm. like MMA fight with no crowd, it kind of feels like you're just practicing or <laughs> some shit. Like yeah, no, there, there is like, athletes. Kinda, that I, would, I would think that with any it, sport, it's but it's surprising to see that the um, soccer players, football for our um, football for our our South American global friends. fans, but here in and New European York, friends, soccer fans all around the world, the Bronx, Fordham specifically, we, we call it soccer. I actually want to play, man. We should play one of these days. Man, like, listen, it's I a need, good way I'm to fight, weight, fight the, the coronavirus. To, yes, I'm it's gaining a good weight. way. You got to keep. I need to play some basketball. You got to take soccer. care of yourself and just, you know, have fun. Keep your body in shape and just, you know, eat good and like all that. And like, you know, I miss all that shit. I'll play football in the dirt this winter, if anything. I'll play soccer <laughs> on the we concrete. That. That's like, the thing whatever, I love about you know? about the code, the Brazilian culture. You know, kids play in the street. Kids play with anything with socks a bunch of socks put into a bag a fake created ball that they created with not, not the room it's it's insane like that that culture of um you know being more outside being more you know involved network is your net worth you know that's, and anytime that's anyone is outside they're always posting it up on the internet like oh look what i'm doing yeah i'm, I'm this is proof that i had a good time like, yeah no of course because people are your life people, i'm out here living people are it tired, up man <laughs> tired of being out out, out like inside they want to be you know outside enjoying and, and hanging out with people but you know there's Go, like, th I mean, this let is why people party with masks. Like, just leave it lim limited capacity. That's it. That's why Start I love to bring it up little by little. You know, open up like the sporting events, like at like twenty five percent. You know, do something. You know, like, things it, are gonna go back. It to can normal, be right? done little by little. But whether whether people say it or don't believe in it, and, and all the, with all the things that's happening, like New York City in general, too, I think is like one of the best places to grow up with all the negativity because the harder it is the better it is for you as an individual with all those experiences and like the gladiator that it builds yeah it really is and um i would i would move for the right reasons yeah where would you and where would you go if you had an opportunity to leave the, the world as, today this um, this world where would globally, you go? Would be? right now new globally, zealand, yeah. <laughs> new zealand right? yeah right now definitely it's the safest new spot zealand. It's the safest well, um, spot when it comes to talking about the virus. Shout out you, to if you want to talk about like not the pandemic, probably maybe uh, Spain or um, the Netherlands. Okay, because I know like with Sounds my fun. style of music with that New York twist mm -hmm, on it, mm -hmm. huh, it Yo, would be so lit. Listen, and they even have the like me, if you parties. go as far as like the states go, maybe Miami or Chicago or probably L.A. Listen, man. We we soon we're soon gonna do our uh, debut in maybe San Rio. Francisco. What about that Rio de Janeiro? Actually, has like a nice dance. Rio scene. de Janeiro, Brazil. The de debut. JT um, DJ coming back. We call DJ Gus. Get the old crew back. Maybe DJ Jonathan. Um, it, it would be it would be nice to see listen, JT man. DJ. I haven't seen him in a long time. You know? it, where's this guy been, man? This guy uh, this guy's a legend, man. Like, we all spoke about, like, going to Brazil, doing a party out there, you know? But the thing is, if I go to another country, here's another factor that plays in. I would want to go some... I, oh, I heard that, like, in Ukraine, they love fucking house music. That's a why lot Ukraine, of our feed the, loves Ukraine. The twin bros. But also is... Brazil. But if I go to Brazil, I'm not going out there, you know? Like, like the feather in my hair doesn't cut it when <laughs> I have blue eyes and facial hair you know but you, you run see, your shit bitch no but so see, if look. it's a country where i have people that are from there and have family and like kind of know their way around that also plays a big factor yeah, but of listen, where i want to travel people, and wherever i go i'm bringing my setup anywhere yeah, i go no, even but, if it's just a hotel i'm bringing it 
I'm I'll telling do any you, party for free. I'm telling you right now, like people, about it people expanding. have this different vision about other places and other countries, and they create this negativity. But it's not the way that people, you know, create. You have to go for yourself. It's safer than people make it to be. Like people make it dangerous. People say, "Oh, you know, you go, you gotta, you can't, you can't wear certain things. You gotta." That's true. You know, you don't want to be all flashy. You got to be smart, absolutely. But they're not gonna be, you know. If you're there for the right reasons, you do. I just, I would want to visit know. a lot of friends over there. Shout so out, my brother, shout my out brother's to Igor. Out there. Shout Igor's out, out to, there, man. Shout That's out true. to Carol. A lot of family out there. A lot of people um, that we know out shout there. Shout out to Jr. <laughs> Listen, man, Jr. actually here. I think I saw that. Yeah, but J- I so before, we got you know. we got people. All I actually over the knew world, how to man. speak a little Brazilian. Like, Listen, you, know, you you you're in the Brazilian community. Oh, it's yes. Fala Portuguese. It's my favorite phrase. Like. Oh man, you see, that's what happens when you you live around Brazilians and you live around the culture. You pick up. This the is culture. how me and me and your boy Titties uh, Tiago shout out. I see you like the page. Um, uh, this is how our conversations used to go every day. He would be like. Uh, light up, and I'd be like, match up, and he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like, roll up, and I'd be like, break up. <laughs> and that was how yeah, the day started. That is one like unique individual right there, Tiago, because this this guy literally speaks with one word. Like he'll speak with you with one word. Like he, it's a quick. You know, quick translation into, into the whatever message he wants to translate to you. Quick, there's no like he doesn't add too much to it. He's very short yeah, and simple. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like you got to be ready for that. Pretty That's chill crazy, dude man. though. But, yeah, great um, dude, man. Had some good memories. He rips it on the dance floor, you know. Dude, we had great time. Shout out to Tiago JP. You should rip, I remember rip the, on the dance the, floor. The, like the, oh, JP started fights with someone like always in the yes, Brazilian Day Parade in Newark. Oh, and, you like, were there. Tiago got stabbed, stabbed in the arm over Oh, him. man. Got into Listen, a big-ass bro, brawl. You're going to get into that. Listen, that that is actually a conversation but that I had with JP The ones in New ago. York, Newark, they hated us. But the ones that would go down to New York, I loved them too. Times. Remember, Pachi used to set up at the Bizarre Day Parade. There was the house. We were, Remember, the, those were the so best. It's, yeah, lit, those were the best. And there was that fucking hairspray thing that made everyone fucking ring bells in their heads. Yo, their bro, shit. those those were the days. And really, like all the parades, man. The I only, remember they had the dance parade. The West Indian Parade is lit. Puerto Rican Day Parade. Those are the best. You know, man. like there's so many. The People St. Patrick's together. Day Parade. Yeah. Oh my God! Absolutely. Like there's so many great like Br- the Brazilian Day Parade was really like the I think best we had of, a lot of point. remarkable times in 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 history going there. Like those events, those Brazilian events were very. It was remarkable. Like, yeah, we, we, were, we have some great memories when it comes to I have like fighting, an old dancing. picture on my um, oh, my man. government page. Like back in the day, it's like all of us and millions of us in the I'm picture. Dude, I'm telling like, you, man. Like I do not regret everything that we went through, everything that we that we you know the phases, the the ups and downs, the the everything, like the everything that we saw, went through, and was what it shaped. It was fun. It made it yeah, made me want to be an entertainer. Absolutely, yeah, you I know. Love, I and love you it. were involved in life, and like like what what do you do now? Listen, man, I, I, I do whatever I can get my hands on. You know what I mean? Like, I, I obviously, I love, you know, dealing with people. You know, I like I like just being in sales and, and you know, helping people just getting, you know, whatever they need. Like, if they have you're these. you're good at it. You know, I'm good at it because I enjoy, I enjoy people. I don't lie. I keep, I keep it 100%. What, what goals do you have going forward? Listen, my goals moving forward is absolutely just become someone who's self-employed doesn't necessarily could be, could be anything in general so that's why i'm trying to do whatever i can you know just let everything out of my heart not I'm not keeping nothing inside anymore i'm not i'm not keeping my mouth shut like yeah. i'm using i'm using everything that my everything that's on my mind I'm, I'm putting it into practice and everything that i'm thinking about i'm putting in so you know, putting um, it into if the this mic. party that's goes it. down in philly uh by the time uh, well, See, this won't be dropped by then. The eight will be dropped. But um, if this party goes down in Philly, like, and there's a price tag on it, what, can you say like, babe, I got, I got to work? This like, is the uh, thing. Like when you I'm get a star me, now, I'm a star. You, you, see, I'm not a star. I'm not a star. Yeah, we're not a stars yet. We're, we're, we're trying to help people. We're trying to save the dance floor and help people enjoy. You know, it, we're trying to entertain people. We want people to enjoy. You know, not being able to be outside right now so we're creating entertainment 
to you know to create that excitement and keep them thinking like there's still hope out there like the dance floor everything's gonna get back to normal with all this negative and everything that's going on you know like my wife like she she's the type of person that like she she would want me to do the best thing for me but she also knows that we have a daughter now it's different it's different it? it's she's eight months so you always okay, gotta you yeah, can't be that, selfish that's a, anymore that's a rough time that's that's the thing if i th if i if i didn't and right have... now my, my boy um congratulations thank you way. man i never had the chance to, listen you know? you're gonna get there man but, um, build your family my, man. That's my the boy goal. jason is having a kid in a month and he we actually were talking last night and he said he was like oh yeah we definitely have to chill soon because i'm not gonna be able to chill for a minute so you know, like it's it's. Yeah, I know I know it's a lot. Like, it, when yeah, you have, like that first when, kid, like. It, and that's the thing. I'm trying to balance everything out. Like you have to balance. You have to have everything balanced out. You still got to get everything that you need to get done, but you still have to remember quality time with quality people with the family. You know, because that, well, that that's by, the by the time thing, right? your kid is like ten. Um, you're gonna be like the next Joe Rogan out here. Dude, we'll be, we'll be billionaires, <laughs> man. It's okay. You gotta start somewhere. We started somewhere. We have footage oh. of what we used to do before. It's just a matter of, of time. Like I oh, hate yeah, it, hate something... it, hate it or love it. Like we're we're gonna talk, <laughs> talk about it. We're gonna talk something about something like something. I I um I just have to bring this up. Like you know, Joe Rogan is a big influence He's the man. of this show. He's the man, and he's making a big move to Spotify. And um, they sent, they like took some of his episodes off, but then put them back up. I guess the controversial ones. And soon, none of it's gonna be on YouTube, and it's all gonna be on Spotify. But now there's a bunch of people, Spotify workers, threatening to go on strike, all because Joe Rogan isn't gonna censor his episodes. That's what makes it good. So that's actually like a huge thing going on in the podcast world right now. Like I don't know how that's gonna go. You know, like like our podcast, we talk about whatever the fuck we want. We're not censoring this shit. You know, I feel like ultimately that might hurt Spotify. Let them motherfuckers go on strike. Like hire a new a new um workforce. Yeah, it's insane. They're I'll like, take the job. <laughs> it's insane. We 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 say whatever we want, but you, in the way you still gotta watch what you say. You know, look at this guy. I mean, going, we're not here to offend anyone. Of course like, not. Like if of if we not. do, we're probably just being funny. Listen, we're you know we like to laugh. We do like <laughs> we, to laugh. We do. Like, but, but those my, who know us understand. My those boy, who don't my know us get here, to know I have us. memories where we were just walking up the hill like with our fucking asses mooning cars and shit. Like oh man, don't talk like, about those days. Man. <laughs> just crazy shit, like oh, you know, but. Man. But you, you can't get offended, you know. We throw throwing snowballs and fucking people's open windows. You just gotta be open minded. Man. You gotta be open minded. Everything that you go through, every fun that you have, is to teach you a lesson. You know, you decide if you want to learn that lesson and get better as an individual. But everything is for a reason, man. I enjoyed our times, man. We had some good times. We did it's, a lot of crazy like, things. Especially like now, it feels like so extra fun reminiscing over that stuff because. The times right now, it's so different, kind of in a scary way. This is yeah, it, absolutely. This is something that five years ago we would look at like, oh, this this kind of looks like a video game. This looks like a movie. Some future, like, what the fuck is this? Like, some um, basically war against a virus. That's what we're dealing with. And it's then insane. It's insane. It's riling, riling people up. That changed the world. These, that like, stopped the world. Riots and protests, which is probably spreading it more, but I feel like it's still going down. That's why I just hope, like, I hope, like, things just, like, take a good turn. But it's it's really going to come down to the vaccine. That's Listen. really what it's going to come down to because they're going to be like, all right, we have this. It's perfected. Everyone needs to do it if you want to be involved in anything i don't think it's that it's that simple the way but there, you know, it's gonna take a lot vaccines, longer than we look think. how many vaccines we do already in the world mm -hmm. to protect ourselves from other diseases and viruses and illnesses like things like remember going to school oh you can't go until you get this shot mm -hmm. like you know like, yeah, I remember. like there's a lot of things that like we already vaccinate for like things that like Amish communities who want to li live like they lived like half a, a millennia ago, like no electricity, like no nothing. They don't vaccinate themselves and they live stupid short lives, not to offend any, any of them, but like, you know, they can leave if they want, but if they decide to stay and live that life, no vaccinations, and then now you catch an illness, now what? It's like a religious thing. You know thing what I'm saying? But us in the society it. that thrives, you know, 
we do vaccinations. And actually, I almost died from the flu last year. I never got a flu shot. I've always been kind of one of those somewhat skeptical people. Yeah. But it was so bad, I almost died to the point where I'm getting a flu shot this fall. Yeah, I mean, that's I what that's to. what happens. A lot of people's and opened up their mind about it now. Like, oh, I have to do something that I never did before it's, in order to protect it's myself. It's just scary the way, like, all the conspiracy, Bill Gates, bullshit stuff. Like, that <sighs> riles people, that makes people skeptical, and it doesn't help at all. Well, know? that was one thing that I was telling my family and keeping everyone around me, like, you know, connect like i was like listen don't let the media don't get stuck up in the media and let that control you and create all this all these bad thoughts because that's what it's created to do yeah it's really going on but you shouldn't be watching it because you can't do nothing about it like if you could do something about it then okay i understand why you're watching all that but if you can't do nothing about it why are you letting that prevent you from doing what you could do to be able to get to a better position to be able to just you know save yourself and, you, and the ones around you you know what i mean because it's there's things going on that we can't control and there, but there's things that we could do to be safe you know like f for instance like being more cleaner like taking taking more you know showers I like, like washing more and just doing so things ratchet like, like even in the dance <laughs> this community it's, it's not gonna be as like like you know like they're gonna yeah. <laughs> wipe down every bathroom before That's they let fact. someone else in that is true you get like, what i'm saying yeah, the like, world has been sanitized <laughs> It probably That's will so, create more jobs for a so while because for things to like go back, like, you know, like they're like people need to clean things extra. Like people are going to move forward being careful. Absolutely. The people so are gonna, they need to build like yeah. pandemic crisis uh, relief. There's like, a lot of those. And, there's a lot of those programs like being that's a, created a now priority because... another thing that needs to be a priority, which makes me lean more towards the Democratic side in a huge way because i believe it's important um the whole global warming thing and how the conservatives just overlook it like it's nothing look how we didn't see this coming and it just fucked us up the whole world <laughs> united states a lot because we're like the capital of the world you know so like this what if the next thing is, is some real. global warming shit and it just fucking like really like something like this times 10 you know you really never know what's gonna happen it could be some day after tomorrow type shit going well, on that's what i was saying earlier and i was talking to you about it was we actually watched what's gonna happen already we, we've been watching movies for so long now we know what's gonna happen like it's funny that people contagion 10 years ago yeah, there's so there's shit. so many things that's good that, the purge movies coming dude, out and there's then you everything got that we're the that riots. we're watching all the entertainment that we're actually seeing is actually telling us what's gonna happen what could happen what people already envision or planned it, how many robots insane. the terminator movies yeah. all that stuff no it's insane it's like, insane we already we have more knowledge out there than we know but there's more things out there to help us be prepared and understand what to be prepared for and how to be prepared for then we then we actually like utilize it's there it's right here you could grab it you know instant like gratification when nowadays a movie is knowledge. like made i feel like it's written to be something that could possibly make sense as a real concept you know yeah like any, what, any idea that really works and is a good movie it can't be up absurd because it's not going to make sense it's not going to entertain really you have to put an actual setting where things go on that actually make sense you know so all fiction it can lead to being non-fiction i believe okay makes sense. you know like like Things that we, like, all right, books that were written in, like, the mid-1800s, if, if they involve things that are real in this current, like, point in time, they were considered a fictional book back then. But now that, like, we are living lives that are actually happening. Like, if they wrote some fictional book about, like, like people having phones and flying in the air on plan you know like they didn't have that back then that was fictional if they wrote it it was science fiction they didn't want people now, to know the truth like they kept people from the truth but it wasn't happening back in like 1850 there were no planes there were no phones there were you yeah know, you know what i'm saying so it's yeah, like it a lot of things we have today like there was no internet if they wrote a book about kind of how things are today that would be considered a science fiction book right so if they wrote a book or a movie today about things that we look at like oh that's not real whatever but it makes sense mm -hmm. and it can happen if you actually think about it and think generations into the future in the future 100 years in the future it's going to be looked back and like oh yeah they got that right 
that's actually proved to be a non-fictional story now because it actually is not fake yeah you know yeah it's actually happening it's real life so i don't think it's always like oh yeah the government's warning us zombies are coming like you know <laughs> i don't think it's necessarily always that i think people just have good ideas that make sense and are entertaining and in ways that can be scary or can be good or interesting and like creativity at, at its best and if it makes sense anything that makes sense can happen makes, if you really an, think about anything it anything that makes sense makes money yeah so people if you got anything that that makes sense and is interesting in your life do something with this time like if you're collecting unemployment because your job is closed and you have time to sit home what are you doing with that unemployment put something towards like like i don't know a camera or a mic and like dude computer do something useful instead of like cancel your netflix account like you know hack right. the free shit online if you have to you know like if you want to be a part of this podcast if you want to be a guest on our show oh man of course you We're could always hit arms. us up 929-575-9211 chill buzz radio anytime of course like, we, we welcome you with open arms and i mean anything you got interesting to talk about you know yeah, like a, you know me the and country Easy, that i love here. baby freedom of speech we're here we want to learn ourselves and we want we want you to help project that same knowledge into the whole world not just new york we just got that new york perspective and you know i could we could do a long distance thing if you have a mic we could do like you know skype podcast or Absolutely. something like that we're always open Connect to things with the like world. that but if you're right here in new york new york city area metropolitan area city that never sleeps we always meet up you come and meet here right here in fordham bronx let's go just in, in the heart of the bx baby yes boogie down bronx or we could come wherever you are if it's not too far you know should put that on a fucking bar oh but, no no it's dropping uh, with balls, the mobile really. setup with no we might, problem we might bring a rapper through we might bring you know yeah, we might, if you rap if you're a musician a dj anything producer sick. if you do a business you want to promote it like anything you sick, know man. it's like you promote your business what do you do how Listen, can man, how I, can you make I, money because they'll I can call help. they'll call the chill buzz line and i will relate i will um, Listen, anybody anybody right needs interior exterior work asphalt pavement anything to do with country construction remodeling your home renovation talk to your boy man e easy cardinale here we're, we're letting everybody know that we can help you even if even if you don't want our help we're still here to help you. yeah even if you just want to promote your business and it's interesting you can make this show entertaining come through fucking talk about it we'll give you that free promotion and we'll promote us yeah, at man. the same time we're, you know we're, en we're enjoying we're talking we're having a good time we're talking about things that are going on now. We're talking about things that happen, you know. We're we're always gonna reminisce in the past, but we're always gonna think about the future because the future is what's coming, you know. Re ready or not, here it comes, you know. And if you got ideas to improve the future, or things that you want to get out, and you just think people should know, just let us in. Be a part of this movement. Let's talk about it. Hashtag Save the Dance Floor. Um, dance it out. Talk about it. You know have a glass of wine chug a red bull drink some water you know whatever you feel Smoke comfortable L doing. if you're that type of you know? person not everyone is but Listen, i am it, you got, you, it, it's you a free know. world you know it's a free world just be moderate you know be moderate yeah yeah, yeah. don't don't drive drunk <laughs> like on, ha dude. have a beer if anything kids. wait Come an hour now. you know what i'm saying like listen man every everybody matters all right I don't, I don't even want to get all political and everything, but it's like everybody should be able to, you know, look at each other and be like, we should all live in harmony. So watch out for each other, you know, help each other, do everything that you could do. Not to be all a, cops are bad. Not all cops are bad. Not either. all people of any not race all are, people bad. are bad. There's dirt Listen, bags. Of there's dirt bags in of every country. Color, size, and shape. Fucking fact. That's a fucking fact. So any, you always gotta have. Yeah, but I feel like there's more great people. More that, there is, people but that's what that. that's what we're trying to spread. If you're the type of person person that wants to spread that positivity that's going to dominate the negativity that's going on around the fucking world around the united states around new york city come on man we're here to talk to you yeah come help be us guest on our show or do your own show just that's just, it that's just it. don't Let's deprive the it. world of something you know 
that might help them that's it that that's what we should do we have something inside something that we're gonna be able to share with the world that's gonna you know spark the light in the world and why not throw it throw it out there man entertainment for for good and positive energy is the vibrations that we're trying to create music is what we're here for also you know we represent music to the fullest it runs through it runs through our veins that's number one and secondly like we're never gonna let the people down you know whatever we could do to represent the people and give the people a voice you know we're tired of not talking and not putting what we're talking about into action it's happening 2020 vision let's go yes people subscribe anything you're interested in that you want to hear on future episodes leave in the comments feel free to ask any questions uh thank you for tuning in easy once again thank you for it's being been a pleasure here. it has been a pleasure we killed this um i look forward to seeing your guys feedback and just doing continuing this more and more like we got more coming it's gonna be awesome until next time until next time it has been chill buzz radio with dj luke knight and easy cardinale good night new york good night planet earth